Um, mm. Not so much on the rebranding, but the process again. Um, I, I, I will stick to the process and accountability. Um, I didn't go to South Burlington. I went to Rice. Uh, we went through that when we had the Little Indians to the Green Knights um, for s not, not even close to the same type of reasons, but it made sense. Um, personally speaking, Rebels, Wolves, uh, the name itself, I, I'm not attached, emotionally attached to any of it. I understood the argument. I think the argument to change the name was valid. I think every student should feel safe. Uh, I think every student should feel welcome. I think every parent should be proud that they go to South Burlington. Where I had a problem, and I wrote, and this was published in the Free Press, and I did write to the board, is the process. You did have 700 plus uh, residents, taxpayers, asked the school board uh, to at least discuss the issue in a form. It, there was a motion made, it wasn't brought up. So there's a difference between listening and acting. So you could sit in the audience and say what you want at the school boards, but nobody was, it, it didn't feel like anyone was real. The decision was made, they weren't going to do it, and that's not a fair process. That's not a process that led to civil uh, disagreement. It led to accusations. It led to things that's not really reflective of South Burlington. So I just think they mishandled uh, that particular issue. I think the board should have had a second, had a discussion, and if they decided not to bring it to a vote, fine. Then that would be their decision. But not to actually have that discussion and be on record and not for Bridget and the rest of the members to second that motion, I, I think they mishandled that and they, I think they did a disjustice to those members of the community. I, 